Hi everyone. Welcome back to another Second Step lesson. This is our 19th lesson. I can't believe how many we've done. If you've watched all of the lessons, congratulations. Thank you so much for your dedication and coming back for new learning each week. I'm really thankful for you. Here's our lesson for today. Our lesson today is about taking responsibility. We are going to use the problem solving steps to help us decide what to do if we hurt someone's feelings. First, let's review our problem solving music video. And in trouble and I don't know what to do There are four problem solving steps that always help me through Number one, it's the S yes step S, say the problem What is the problem? Number two, it's the T step T, think of solutions What can we do? Number three, it's the E step E, explore consequences What might happen? Number four the P step. P, pick the best solution. What will work the best? So let's all remember the four problem solving steps. Let's say them one time over so we never forget. One, two, three, four. S T E P. What is the yes step? Say the problem. What is the T step? And I don't know what to do I use the problem solving steps They always help me through Cause I am a problem solver 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 I say I am a problem solver 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 S-T-E-P This is Estella. This is Ayako. Ayako told something private to Estella and asked her not to tell anyone else. It was a secret. But Estella told Ayako's secret to other kids in the class. Now those kids are giggling and looking at Ayako. How do you think Ayako feels? Use your empathy to think about how you would feel if that happened to you. You would probably feel sad, upset, or angry. Estella wasn't trying to be mean. But the secret did slip out, and now she knows she hurts Ayako's feelings. She feels bad and guilty for what she did. She wants to make it better. Her feelings are very strong right now. What is the first thing Estella should do? That's right, she should calm down using the calm down steps. Stop, name their feeling, take some belly breaths. <sighs> Now, Estella is ready to solve the problem. The first step in problem solving is the S step. Say the problem. The problem is Estella hurt Ayako's feelings and she wants to make things better. Next, the T step. Think of solutions. What would you do if you hurt your friend's feelings? Would you apologize? Would you write your friend a note? Would you tell the other students to stop laughing? 
There are lots of things we can do to make things right. The E step is explore consequences. Make sure your solutions are safe and respectful. It wouldn't be safe to hit someone or to yell at someone. The last step is the P step. Pick the best solution. Estella decides to admit what she did and apologize. It is hard to take responsibility when we have done something that's wrong, especially when you hurt someone you like or care about. But Estella knows it's the right thing to do and it's respectful. Estella goes to Ayako and takes responsibility for what she did. She offers to talk to the other kids to get them to stop laughing. Ayako decides, decides she'd rather just go outside and play. So that's what they do. Let's practice thinking of what we could say to take responsibility for these different problems. Let's imagine you accidentally drink out of someone else's water bottle in class. What could your words sound like to take responsibility? What if you say something mean to someone else or something without thinking? What could your words sound like to take responsibility? Remember to apologize and say, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that, or I regret saying that. Will you accept my apology? Or you could ask, how can I make things better? Let's pretend you are at home or at your grandma's house and you eat some crackers, but a lot of crumbs fall on the floor. How could you take responsibility for the mess that you made? That's right. Apologize and then clean it up. When you hurt someone or you make a mistake or you make a mess, that's a problem. It's important to take responsibility. It can be hard, but it's the right thing to do, and it will help you and everyone else feel better.